The great beauty of the lateral approach is that through a small incision made in the lateral part of the abdominal wall, we can directly access the spine, avoiding possible complications from anterior approaches like abdominal vessels injuries or posterior approach like muscle, bones and nerves injuries. First step, a small incision is made in the lateral part of the abdominal wall. Second step, direct access is made through psoas muscle while continuous neurophysiological control is performed. Due to the rear crest, we can reach the lower lumbar part. In those cases, we have to perform an anterior approach. Third step, the retractor is placed splitting the psoas muscle. So we have full visibility and access to the spine. Fourth step, we proceed with disc or pathology resection. Fifth step, depending on the sagittal profile of the patient, based on X-ray full body study, the right device is selected to maintain or restore the physiological lower doses of the patient. Sixth step, the chosen device is placed 